Good day, Joe Malik from G1NBC On Air. Today we're down here at the Brighton Chamber office interviewing people here around Livingston County and businesses too. And today we have... Don Lukens. Hey, Don. Welcome Hi. here today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so can you tell us a little about what your family business does? Um, I am a massage therapist at Lukens Family Chiropractic, and my husband is the chiropractor at our office. Um, he has been a chiropractor for 27 years, um, and I have been a therapist for 16 years. What made you get into therapy, massage therapy? Um, I got into massage therapy. It's actually interesting. Uh, I had um, severe postpartum depression, and it's something that a lot of people don't talk about, but um, I went to a, a pastor of mine, and he, uh, he suggested that I do an infant massage class um, to bond with my son. So. That's kind of how I got into it. It was really never to work with my husband initially. That wasn't a very big thing then. Uh, we're talking 15 years ago. Okay. But it is a big thing though. Now people use it more today, don't they? Right. They do work well together. Uh, two totally different structures of the body, but they work very well together. And what, what is your husband? What? Tell me a little bit about chiropractor. What is that? What is that? So chiropractic, there's the philosophy out there that if you get chiropractic care, you will have to have it for the rest of your life. I always think of it as a wellness tool. It's, it's just an extra layer of wellness as if you take supplements, brush your teeth, things like that. Um, chiropractic just uh, releases the, the gas in the joints of the spine to let the nerves um, flow properly. So it just it, it boosts your immune system. He's actually not moving the bones. A lot of people think that, but actually the noises that you hear are just releasing of the gases in the joint. Interesting. And how'd you two meet? Oh, we met, um, I was actually a manager at a <laughs> pizza place and one of his good friends was one of the delivery drivers. I was going to college at the time and managing a pizza place. And so they invited us out to a bowling night and that's how I met. we met. Oh, interesting. And that was 23 years ago. So nice. And you have children too? I have two sons. One is uh, 21 and one is uh, 18 and he's about to graduate in the fall or in the summer. Uh, and they go to the school districts here in Limestone County? Yes, they've all went to, they both went to Brighton. Do you like Brighton? I love Brighton. I love the school system. Anytime I've ever had an issue or Maybe my kid has done something wrong because you know they're not perfect. <laughs> um, the school is, is so informative in, in not only just helping you through the problem but giving you the, the tools necessary to maybe navigate to the next next phase for them. So how do people find out about you? Word well, of mouth, you advertise, we, we websites? We have a Facebook page. Um, mostly I will say we have not done a lot of advertising in in our business, we're kind of like the little engine that could in a way, because um, it's all been word of mouth. And so I've been very fortunate in my career to have, you know, massage is, is very limited. I mean, I could do like 20 to 25 massages a week. Um, so, you know, I've been full all, all since I've been in Brighton and that's due to the school system. I work on a lot of teachers and they've been loyal to me for the entire 15 years here. So I've been very fortunate um, in my career to, for myself. Um, my husband, you know, he does do some marketing. He was in the chamber at one time. Um, he does some... Um, well, didn't you guys do like the street fairs sometimes too? Yes, we did those. Uh, we've done some church functions. We've um, really a lot of word of mouth though has come from being in the school systems, our children being in the school systems. So we get a lot of the young athletes um, a lot of the athletes actually. And that's important too because I used to be a wrestler in high school and college mm -hmm. and I would go to the chiropractor probably once every two weeks. Yes. Because it would, you know, and I still believe in chiropractor today. That's so, awesome. Yeah. I think it's just the mentality of what is chiropractic and it's it's this thing like, you know, I would have to go forever or I, I, I don't, I guess I don't look at it like that, but I think it's a very uneducated society in regards to what is chiropractic. It's really just a, another added layer, like I, I said earlier, of, of health care. Right. It's not necessarily something you have to do, but it does help. Yeah, because like my story, this before you were in town, mm -hmm. I injured my back pretty bad and went down to the ER and they said, well, we need to operate. I couldn't walk at all. And so I called my chiropractor friend and I said, hey, look at, 
I got two adjustments that day. I could stand back up. Mm -hmm. Next day, he gave me two more adjustments. I think I had about eight total, and I didn't have to get an operation. Well, so it was amazing. like, here they're going to cut into my back, but. Well, the but thing, the, the, and, and that's really the tough part of healthcare is I feel that we're not working as a unity, like meaning like they should have referred you to that. Always make, a, in my opinion, surgery your last option. Right. Um, it's not going to hurt you to try chiropractic just to see if it works for you. Right. It doesn't work for everybody, and, and that's okay, too. I mean, you, you don't, like, jump on the back. And no, well, but in, in our office, too, we're, we're kind of, um, we're not a forceful office where um, my husband is very relaxed and very, like, I'm going to give you the knowledge and the tools of, of what this can do for you, and it's up to you to do what you choose with it. We have a recommendation. We have a treatment plan. But if you don't follow it, it's still something. Something is better than nothing is, is, the, is the mentality. But the massage therapy, that's like elbow down, though, right? No, it, it can be. Okay. But, again, it depends on, on what you're dealing with. You have right. car accidents. You have. I found in my um, profession, for me, I'm also a – counselor okay so that's also helped that we don't realize the emotional storage and with the pandemic going on and everything going on we're all very stressed our cortisol levels are high which is a, a hormone right that causes our body to store the stress so there's there's a lot of massages like an, a doctor in a way not, I'm not a doctor but I mean there's many variations of it so there's okay. lymphatic massage there's deep tissue massage there's relaxation massage there's uh, sinus massage. There's there's so many variations. So when you sit down with a client, mm -hmm. you you try and analyze what their needs really are. Then right. Right. I don't take just this is a spa. No offense to the spas, but I don't take that approach. We're a healthcare office, so it's what are you looking for? If you're looking to relax, that's just what we'll do. If you're looking for more of a wellness care or using this as a part of your life then we'll go on a totally different road. It's really up to the individual that comes in, and I do not have a one-size-fits-all approach, so everybody is unique and everybody is different. Good. Well, I, anything else you'd like to talk about? I think that's it. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate you coming down today Thank and talking so to much. us and uh, check out the, the chiropractor and uh, w wellness be with you or something. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yours in good health. Okay. <laughs> yours in good health. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you.